Saudi Krap. Welcome to Phuket Extra. I'm JP Mistanza, and it's Friday, November 10th. We're all excited here, but here's the news you need to know heading into the weekend. Microchipped wristbands will be given to all people boarding boats at local piers in Phuket before they travel to nearby islands, according to an announcement by Phuket Governor Norapat Plotong. It's all in the name of safety as tourists will be asked for their name, address, telephone number, accommodation, and other details that will be embedded into the chip before they wear it. And it'll also have a GPS tracker in case you get lost. The wristbands will cost no more than 20 baht, according to the governor, though it's not clear whether the government or tourists will pay for it. No word yet on exactly when the wristband policy will take effect, but the governor did announce that they'll set up CCTV cameras, more of them, with facial recognition systems at the Rasada and Chalong piers. And local authorities are announcing their big immigration sweep in which 95, quote, illegal aliens were arrested since this past Wednesday, November 8th. A team of military and police officers made the announcement at a press conference this morning in Phuket town, saying they've rounded up under 100 people, all of whom were violating Thai immigration laws by either overstaying their visas, not registering their residence, or carrying out the required 90-day reporting. Authorities say most of the people in custody were from India, over 60 of them in fact, in addition to some Pakistanis, Egyptians, and people from Nepal. And the smoking ban on Patong Beach is not just for cigarettes, as officials announced that e-cigarettes, or vape pens, will also be banned. Officials say that since vaping creates smoke, it violates the beach smoking ban, and e-cigarettes can only be used in dedicated smoking areas along with cigarette smokers. The ban was put in place back on November 1st, though we are currently in the 90-day grace period in which violators will only receive a warning. But that ends on February 1st, and violators who smoke on Patong Beach since then will face a 100,000 baht fine and or up to a year in jail. And sit tight, Phuket Extra. We'll be right back after this. Thailand's premier SSI Diamond Dive Center. Visit us in Geelong or on c-bees.com. CB's Diving. Adventure in good hands. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. It's a tragic ending to the life of a 27-year-old woman and her 5-year-old daughter after they were killed allegedly by the same man who had given them shelter for the night, all because the mom rebuffed his sexual advances. Escaping an abusive household, 27-year-old mom Bismi Sulong and her 5-year-old daughter fled their Naratiwat home last week and came across 30-year-old Hassan Jeha, who offered them a place to stay for the night, which they agreed. But at about 1 a.m. last Saturday, according to the suspect who confessed to police, he had allegedly taken drugs and asked the mother to have sex with him, and when she refused, he became angry and allegedly stabbed her with a knife, hit her with a gas stove, killing her. And then he killed the young girl who woke up because of the ruckus. Police say the suspect confessed to disposing the bodies under a bridge about two kilometers from his house, which was found later last Saturday by a passerby and he's now facing charges. TripAdvisor, the world's biggest travel review website, will now flag hotels which have been identified as a place where sexual assault and other major concerns have occurred. Hotels that have had health, discrimination, and safety issues will all be identified with a specific badge for up to three months, according to a TripAdvisor spokesman, who says the badges are, quote, intended to be informative, not punitive. An employee committee is going to be set up all to decide whether or not to add or remove the badge for a specific business or hotel. The move follows a story by the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel in the U.S. last week in which forum posts and reviews concerning rape and injuries at results in Mexico were removed by TripAdvisor. And corruption allegations levied against 15 Phuket police officers is prompting an investigation by the Region A Police Commander, Major General Tirapol Kuptanon. The 15 officers, who are from precincts all over Phuket, 
They've all been accused of releasing 142 foreigners who were arrested for different crimes, but they did not write official forms to immigration police, nor did they transfer them to immigration police between October 1st and October 31st. A committee of officers from the Royal Thai Police has already been set up to investigate the allegations against a police, and officials say the probe will take more than one month. And that's it for Phuket Extra today. If you're watching this on YouTube or thephuketnews.com, you can check out all of these stories on the links below. From all of us at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. We'll be back on Monday to catch you up with everything you missed over the weekend. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Buongiorno. Bonjour. Hey. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Buenos dias. Nin hao. Здравствуйте. Привет. Guten Tag, ich spreche Deutsch. Sawadee We are ready to provide international medical service with warm Thai hospitality. Call us at 1719.